Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's makeup tutorial slash review slash hanging out and doing our makeup together. So make sure you guys, you know, are getting ready with me. So today I wanted to test out the new Elf Mint Melt Collection. This is an affordable drugstore makeup collection that is pretty much mint and like chocolate colors. I absolutely love the color scheme. So I decided to create this makeup look and yeah, just give you guys my first impressions and if it's actually worth your money. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I went ahead and did my brows off camera. You guys already know how it is. So this is the new Mint Melt Collection inspired by mint chocolate chip. I think that's like the ice cream flavor. I don't know because I have never tried it. I am a cookies and cream type of girl. I cannot do anything else i feel like cookies and cream is live and i'm low-key judging you if you do not like it um but <laughs> i'm just kidding guys but they did decide to release a whole collection mint inspired and i absolutely love this color it just makes me happy it puts me in a good mood so this collection comes with the mint melt no budge eyeshadow like pencils so this is what they look like really cute packaging these are really long wearing in case you guys haven't tried them before so it comes with ice cream it also comes with melt with me and mint for you which is the matte mint one and this is what they look like right there swatch this ice cream color it's like a really pretty champagne shade and then we also have the melt with me which is a nice like dark brown with shimmer and then we have the matte you know mint color super pigmented and they do last a really long time we also have the mint melt bite size eyeshadows i hope they come up with more of these hopefully they're in the same quality um but yeah this is what it looks like right here so this is called mint to be just like the color pop palette which i do have so i'll do some comparisons and then we also have this one which is called chocolate and mint which I just feel like they just do not go together, but that's just me. Okay, and then this is what the ColourPop Mint To Be palette looks like. In case you guys haven't seen it before, this is the palette I had on in my drugstore favorite. In case you guys haven't seen that video, I had this eyeshadow on. So the palette is super similar, especially this one right here. So just for comparisons, this is what it looks like with the ColourPop palette right here, which does feel a little bit more like buttery smooth. And then we have the e.l.f. one right here. So super, super similar. So again, if you have this palette, you do not need this collection. Um, I like the e.l.f. one though because it is smaller, so it's like straight to the point, you know? You don't have to like figure out what you want to use. So they also release the Mint Melt Brush Set. And this one comes with an all-over eyeshadow brush, eye contouring, and the blending brush. So I am going to be using the blending brush, even though I'm the blending brush. If this is your favorite color, I recommend you buy the whole collection. And you can put like everything in display. So this is the brushes that it comes with. I thought it had like a more rounder, so I'm just going to use mine. So I'm going to take this matte mint color. There's not a lot of fallout at all. Oh, actually there is, but not like the profusion. So I'm gonna apply that here on the crease. I'm starting by packing it in and then I'm gonna start blending just so I can start getting the color on my eyes. You can also just use a really light concealer, like almost white, and it will show up a little bit more. You guys, I still haven't started school and I am so happy I haven't because it's just so relaxing to do absolutely nothing and not like you know and just focus you know on my videos and just putting out content for you guys and then when school starts i just stress out so much especially this semester because i am going to be taking five classes so it's going to be a tough one but i gotta do what i gotta do i'm going to be taking the brush that it comes with in the set this is the eye contour brush and i'm just going to be taking this color right here Tap excess and then I'm just gonna start focusing it on the outer parts of my eyes. I think these brushes you can buy them separately. I like I don't think they're like new. So if you have the brushes already, I don't think this one's necessary. But you know, I wanted to try the whole collection out for you guys. I like these two colors combined. I feel like it creates like a really nice minty light like greenish blue color i don't know 
I like this color. I am gonna go ahead and just use this one just for fun. The fudge eyeshadow stick, whatever it's called. And I'm just gonna put it here. Pretty much like to cut the crease. And then I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm just gonna blend it out just here. So, you know, it blends out with the other colors I just put. I do have some new brushes that I got from the Nassanin collection. I think that's how you say her name. I've been watching her videos for so long. So, you know, she says her brushes are bomb. So I wanted to test them out for myself. So I'm going to be taking the flat brush, which is called the number seven. And I'm going to be taking this color right here. I mean, it definitely feels like higher end quality. And I'm going to be using that here on the lid. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And I'm just going to add this here. You guys will see how it makes my lashes look really like lengthening and very nice. So I'm just going to apply this. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit They're Real. Oh no, not, not the They're Real one. The other one. the This one. This one right here. This one is like my favorite one. I have like a couple bigger mascaras and this one has always been my favorite when I don't want to wear like lashes, especially for school. That used to be like my favorite one. Isn't that crazy? That's going to be already a year since the whole like virus started. I think that's crazy. And then a year since I haven't been like back to school and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, you know, and just doing the best that you can during this hard times because it has definitely been hard times for you know a lot of us oh i think my lashes are ready to go um yeah i think they are so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply these these are brand new so they're gonna look a little bit more like on the natural side and there's this other eye yeah, these are just perfect with this makeup look i just feel like this lashes just go with every single makeup look that i do i'm looking at this lashes and i remember i bought the new twins collection with beauty creations i'm so excited to test it out it reminds me a lot of like kylie and kkw beauty but way more affordable and also it's latina made so i'm super excited to test it out once it arrives um i'll definitely do like a get ready with me and we can try it you know together um but anyways i'm gonna move on to primer so they released a new primer that gives me a vibe or i feel like it's gonna be the same as this one but you know i'll let you guys know so this is the elf mint melt cooling face primer it has beautiful packaging again it has a pump and this is supposed to be so this right here it's a vanilla mint scented jelly primer it works like glue to grip makeup and it also has hyaluronic acid and it gives you a refreshing cooling sensation so i pretty much summarize all of that um so yeah that is what it's supposed to do it's supposed to expand your makeup wear so i'm excited to test this out and smell it it reminds me a lot of the milk one the color and it you guys it smells really good it smells like it does smell like vanilla and mint but this is what it looks like when i apply it on my skin mm. it reminds me so much of the elf jelly pop that's like my first impressions yeah okay maybe i do like vanilla and mint together hmm. this smells really good and like refreshing at the same time maybe you cannot get this anymore so they released this one so I'll swatch it you see so the only difference is like the color but I feel like the formula is exactly the same they just like change the color and the scent because the dew primer smells like watermelon and then now this one smells like vanilla and mint I'm gonna go ahead and apply some foundation I did get this one from Catrice it's the true skin hydrating foundation it has hyaluronic acid so I'm gonna be using it today because why not um, it does come with the pump and this is the color I got, 46 Neutral Toffee. I cannot wait for someone to release a matte foundation because I need it. I feel like there's been so many like, you know, dewy foundation releases. They're forgetting about us oily skin girls. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this with my sponge. Yeah, I feel like this is really pretty. And it gives you really nice coverage. It works better than the 
with a wild one. So I'm just gonna add my Cover FX concealer. I got this on sale. It's the Power Play concealer. While I wait for that to get a little bit more tacky, I'm gonna be going in with my RCMA palette, the Shinto palette. And I'm just gonna be mixing these two shades here. And I like to use this to contour my cheeks. It actually make me look like I have like cheekbones. This is the number two brush. The brushes are working really nice. They feel really like luxurious. That's how they feel, really luxurious. And then I'm gonna blend the concealer out with my e.l.f. Camel sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and add my setting powder. I got this from Collab. It's the Set the States Banana Loose Powder. I think this is new. It said it was new on the Sally's website. I was ordering some like hair dye, so that's why I got it. So, you know, I wanted like free shipping because I hate paying for shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my skin with that. And I used it and I really like the way it makes my skin look. I just don't like the scent. Like it smells really like chemically. I've been really into like color powders more lately, like banana powders and colors like that. So it makes everything look really nice. The primer looks really pretty too on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quickly and then add blush and then we can move on to the lips. move on to finishing off the eyes so like i told you guys i do want to create like that chocolate effect underneath the eye area so i am going to be going in with my ColourPop woodsy um eyeliner i told you guys i'm obsessed i feel like it's the prettiest brown shade ever but it's currently sold out but once it comes back definitely get it and start by getting this shade right here and i'm just gonna start by smoking it out and then I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown here as well. And I'm gonna grab this light minty shade. I'm just gonna put it here on the inner corner. And I'm gonna wet the brush just a little bit just to make it extra right here on the inner corners. This is like my favorite shade. This one right here. So they did release a bunch of lip glosses. Again, these lip glosses are very, very good. Um, they're the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Glosses. If you guys haven't tried them, definitely check them out. Um, it also has a lot of Fenty Beauty dupes in there. So this is what they look like, the original line, not this one. So this one comes with a bunch of like pretty shades. So I'm going to start talking about like the most neutral shades. So this right here, it's called Mint Chocolate. And then this one's called Chocolate Chip. So in case you guys are looking for neutral glosses these are definitely it look how pretty they are so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my lips so this is the what is it called again the chocolate chip with a lip liner they will look 10 times better and they don't burn your lips or anything and then this one is the chocolate chip one They do feel really minty and they smell minty as well. So again, with the brown lip liner, these are gonna be really nice. And they also released this ones that are like the more fun ones. So it's a hint of mint and also mint sparkle. This one is beautiful. This one is mint sparkle. I think I'm gonna use that one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Milani Saucy Toffee. And then I'm going to be going in with the KKW Birthday Suit. These are like cream liquid lipsticks. I really like this color. And the formula is very, very nice. And for gloss, I'm going to be going in with Mint Sparkle. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. This is the final look right here. I did my hair. I put on a cute shirt and my necklace. So overall, you guys, I really, really like this collection. I love the color scheme. Again, if you have the ColourPop palette, then you definitely don't need this one. ColourPop does feel a little bit more 
pigmented but on the eyes they honestly look the same feel the same you know it doesn't matter so if you guys been wanting the ColourPop palette but wanted something even more affordable and you know a color scheme like each palette you can use it super like simple then i would highly recommend this collection so the only thing i wouldn't recommend you buy is the brushes i feel like you don't need the brushes i do like this brushes right here though primer if you have the primer they do one already then you definitely don't need this one because they're pretty much exactly the same just like a new color in a new scent but i personally like it like i like the way i make my makeup looked and i personally think it's a really good dupe for the milk um grip primer i think that's what it's called and also update on the lip gloss it does feel really minty and it kind of feels like a plumping gloss without like hurting your lips you know like the Too Faced one girl that one like burn your lips i personally like it though uh, but this one doesn't do that and it's just like a cute color so my favorite colors of them all has to be the mint sprinkle you guys do not like underestimate this color and it's so pretty and it adds like little sparkles so i like this one and then i also like the chocolate chip and the chocolate mint chocolate so those are like my favorite one and again they're not like super sticky but they're like a gloss like you can feel you're wearing a gloss so yeah guys that is my opinion let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the products how you look on my skin i personally would recommend you guys pick them up elf stays winning you guys for me they have amazing products amazing prices and i love this little collections hopefully they can release more of them because you know usually collections are really expensive so i love when drugstore release like a collection valentine's inspired mint you know i don't know orange whatever it is so yeah that being said i'm actually gonna go ahead and edit this video so i can upload it today for you guys and i will see you all on the next video bye guys